Hey everybody, Admin Dane here, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Speedrunner Sundays, a new episode of Speedrunners every week on the channel. Uh, for starters, we're going to take a big jump here and try to hit this slope so we can get a nice boost. Uh, there's an interesting thing about hitting slopes in this game. If you're facing the wrong direction, you will not get any boost from the slope. But the interesting thing about it is, if you are moving in a certain direction in the air if you tap the button in the other direction you'll turn for only as long as you're holding the button by default whatever direction you're moving in in the air is the direction you're facing if you're not hitting a button in either direction uh, so you can't it, it, it's kind of a deviation from a lot of platformers where you can't just tap the other direction and turn around and stay that way so if you're moving left and you tap right and then let it go you will start to face left again so it's very important that when you're hitting these slopes that you hold the direction that you want to go in now that's a problem because you're getting momentum in the other direction and it could wind up messing up your jump i don't know if that's intended or not it might be but it's definitely something to be aware of and mostly it looks like this is going pretty quick uh, I'm not sure how he got slowed down there. It looks like he should have gotten the point, but he got really slowed down. I don't know if maybe I tripped him. There, I messed up that swing, but I was so far up relative to him that he just fell off the stage, and that was pretty cool. All right. I don't know why I'm checking this guy's uh, thing over and over again. I probably just did, didn't see it the first two times. I'm so here, skipping the second platform, hitting the third one, hitting the fourth one, debating on uh, going up like he did. Uh, notice on that jump that I uh, make the first jump very close to the wall. That's so this way, uh, jumping to the other side on the wall jump will make it so I don't fall into the open space. Um, there's several stages where you can do it on uh, where that's important. And right there, of course, we have non-lethal spikes because this is quick matches. There, I don't know why he shot it. I mean, I was clearly ducking. Here, I know he's going to throw that, so I just jump real quick and then do a little bit of bowling. The old 7-10 split. Uh, but yeah, on that hook, I was kind of just... I wasn't even baiting him, you know. I was like, just ducking. There, I dropped the bomb on him, and uh, that messes him up. He hits the spikes, and I just swing up and take it down real quick. It's pretty cool. Don't mind that. I debated on trying to go through the hole up there, but I wasn't sure if it would work, so... I decided to just take the more standard route. Although I do love making that swing. It, it, it's so cool when you get it. Alright, so he, he, he dives down and takes the first platform. Uh, I prefer to jump over and hit the second platform. It's just one less thing you have to worry about executing against. He's got boxing trying to get ahead of him, but he, he's pretty keen to it and runs ahead as well. So this way he can stay ahead of me. Kind of a little bit of an oopsie by him. What can you do? Everyone makes mistakes. Not gonna hate on them for it. And there, I just uh, go high enough up to get them off the screen. Pretty simple stuff. And drop grapple, fall through that hole. Checking out their stats again. I almost hit the spikes there. Oh man, almost got pumpkined. It's not a meatball anymore, it's a pumpkin. It's Halloween. Yeah. Um, speaking of Halloween, uh, some of the changes were pretty cool. I was thinking about doing it with the spooky effects on, but it's really borderline unplayable. Um, even now, like they, they still leave the pumpkin textures in on the boxes. And the color of them, I mean, on, on, on certain stages like Festival and Casino, it's almost the same color as the background. It's really hard to see some of those pumpkins. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for when the textures go back. Uh, it, it, it's really kind of annoying. Here, they, they, the craziest hook I've ever been hit with, I think. One of the craziest. Put a little bit of a bomb down there to get rid of the one guy. Uh, Time that pumpkin pretty well. Then two pumpkins collide. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of got a little bit lucky that I wasn't in last place there. 
you know, there, there's a little bit of multitasking with uh, throwing the pumpkin while I'm doing the swings. Uh, pretty proud of myself on that one. And we got gift store here. So the line I was experimenting with where I kind of fall down and hit that um, grapple didn't seem to be working. So I just went with this one instead, uh, which, which seems like the best line that I can come up with so far. Here I do a little bit of cheesiness. That is so cheesy. Oh my god, it's so cheap! Um, do a little bit of the old, almost didn't make it, so just dive through the, the boxes. That's not. Mess up the drop grapple there. Mess that up, too. Um, yeah, so the, the, line I, the line I was taking originally, it, it wasn't really working out. It's really pretty slow, so I decided to just go back to taking the boost. Uh, maybe there's a better way to execute the other line, but mm, just seems like this is so much simpler. Here I hit the grapple in a way where I fall directly onto the uh, slope. Uh, less time, you know. There I tried to do the old headbutt through, and it didn't work that time. Uh, here, I take a little bit of a risky maneuver going that way. Um, I mess up the drop gravel again. I am I am scrubbing it up on this day. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm so off. Alright, so we got the wall headbutt in a tube, which is pretty much the only way I can think of to uh, call that. There's another wall headbutt in a tube. Oh, that's a pretty good name for it. I couldn't come up with a name for that. Okay. And drop a box for annoyance factor. Uh, here, completely messed that up, but fortunately, uh, boost saves me and gets me in there. God, again, I messed it up. Oh my god, I am scrubbing up this stage. All right, at least I got that. Ooh, a nice box. Nice box, mess him up a little bit. I don't know if there's much he could have done about that. All right, he got me a little bit. Do my wall head button a tube thing. So yeah, that's definitely been faster and more consistent. I'm not messing that up nearly as often as I was the other uh, tactics I was trying in uh, recent previous videos. So just recently, I figured out that this line is not as good as um, going up. And the reason for that is because if you go up, there's actually a pretty easy way to fly right through that um, hole in the center, uh, which is very important for some uh, really high-speed strategies on this stage. All right, so here we're going to go up top so this way we can get this boost. Pretty cool. Uh, he doesn't follow me. I, I think it was because he was worried about falling off. Give him the benefit of the doubt there. I, I think it was, it's a legitimate concern. I don't think you were winning that anyway. And so, uh, you know, I do the... Man, that is so cheap. <laughs> the old uh, meatball to the head. Uh, no, no, excuse me. Pumpkin to the head. Pretty much undodgeable. I mean, if you do it right, there's no way to stop it. The old, uh, you know, item at startup thing. Um, I'm wondering how good these guys are at this stage. It looks like they don't have too much practice. There, I throw a box. I don't know quite what it's going to do, but I figure it might mess somebody up. Uh, notice how I don't, like, spam the boxes or send out multiple boxes. There's no need for that. Like, right now, I can just get some value out of them. And value I do because I really messed him up right there. Didn't look like it hit him on uh, my screen, but, you know... Uh, probably did on his. I, I, I don't know. I can't explain it to you. Um, you know, th that one hole in the center over there is kind of deceptive because there's a lot of places where you could uh, do a wall headbutt and fall onto a slope, but that one's designed so you just barely can't unless you spend a real, a whole lot of boost, and even then it's not really effective. So, now I do the wall headbutt and the swing up. Here I'm going to speed boost into this. Uh, do the bunny hops. Uh, I found that, and I could be wrong, but, you know, bunny hops tend to be effective whether they are large or small. 
about equally effective. It's it's more about just being off the ground so the uh, friction doesn't the friction of walking doesn't kill your momentum. So when you're going faster than normal, you tend to want to be jumping. And when you're going slower than normal, you're going to want to either be grappling, which is preferable, or if that's not available, then you'll want to run. But it's when you're going faster than top speed on the ground that you want to be in the air. And ideally, you'd want to be grappling, but if that's not available, then you do the bunny hop. So this way you can stay in the air and not lose uh, speed to friction. All right, well, you know. Here, I believe, yeah, I, I messed that up really bad. I didn't use enough boost. I got stingy with the boost, and then got screwed. Can't be stingy with the boost. Better use a little too much and waste a tiny bit than use a little too little and completely get screwed. And speaking of uh, using boost to get somewhere, uh, that that was pretty good by him. He's totally skipped that middle grapple by just boosting right through. Um, I'm gonna try that out. There you get to see what happens when you mess up on the, uh, hitting, the jump on that slope. So if you're gonna try to make that jump rather than use the, uh, grappling hook to swing up, you're gonna wanna make sure you don't mess it up or else you'll, it's a really, well, not super stiff, but it's not like you die when you make the mistake, but you certainly get slowed down because you, you dive head first into that wall and... Um, just real quick, uh, from the start, if you look at the boxes and, uh, get real close to them and just make a double jump, you will pretty much always make it to the spot where that boost is without having to worry about, uh, slowing down or anything. The old swing, wall headbutt, drop the box to slow him down. Uh, I'm not quite sure why he threw that way too late to do anything maybe may might have been reactionary probably could have um shock waved right there and taken down the point sooner but didn't matter it only took about 10 seconds longer anyway um the one guy uh, i remember him being pretty salty it was very entertaining kept calling me noob not sure if you know what that word means, but if you're saying it and then you lost me, doesn't that say something? So yeah, I don't panic at the meatball or the pumpkin. And um, I've noticed that pretty much everyone I've played with that takes that top route hits the switch that just opens that up. So if they're doing that, I mean, I'm just, I, I, I prefer ease and um, over uh, execution whenever possible. So I usually just wait for the boost to get up there, and it hasn't punished me very much so far. Sometimes I fall a little bit behind if they're pretty good at it, but Harry freezes me, but it's pretty pointless because you just fall down and set yourself up to just get boosted. So by the time I, I'm, I'm frozen, I might lose a little bit of speed. That's about it. And he was so far behind that maybe he should have saved it. Probably would have been better off just trying to use it at the start of the next point. guy does not seem very good with items. There, I slow down a little bit to make sure to hit him with the freeze. Um, there's going to be some spots where he just, like, picks up boxes and just spams them on the ground. Like, for no benefit. Throw the pumpkin. Gotta remember, it's a pumpkin. So here, I, I go up and let them fight each other with items. And then I get a nice boost. Because, you know, I'm really high up with the slope. That's pretty cool. Here, I try to get ahead and put some boxes and annoy people. Here, I intended to hit the salty guy, but the other guy getting ahead of him kind of, you know, got him boxed instead. And I felt really bad for that guy because I, I had been sleezing him. There were more matches that aren't in here that I had been sleezing the guy. And he's such a nice guy, uh, referring to um, Full Nelson. Such a nice guy. Really stand up, really classy. Never had a problem with anything. Um, and <laughs> I felt really bad for the amount of uh, sleaze, uh, item sleaze that I was hitting with. But you know, it is a game, and he was even like, "Yeah, it's cool, man. Whatever, no problem." You know, that's a really good attitude, and uh, I just wanted to point that out. A, a huge contrast from the other guy who was like, "Oh, you noob." 
you know, I, 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 I yeah, I, I'm glad I made that clear because I wanted to make sure that nobody thought that I was talking about the other guy being a whiner. Um, that that little um, drop grapple on the left. Ooh, a nice box. Yes. Oh man, that was so good. Oh, oh great. Oh, another box. Oh yeah. Get wrecked, kinda. And then I wreck myself. And this is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> Boxes do nothing. Um, one box would have been fine. The the second batch of three did absolutely nothing. I mean, like if you want to spam the first three, that's fine. Uh, but like I was saying, um, that's that drop grapple on the left. If you're having trouble making it, the best advice I can give you is to go further to the left before you start moving to the right, and it'll give you like more room. Otherwise, you might find that you're like hitting the middle platform because you're starting to go right too early. Yeah, so if you're having trouble doing it, don't worry about going a little too far left. It's better, ooh, better to go um, uh, a little bit too far left than, uh, you know, uh, just take it close and get screwed. Um, of course, I mean, you should use your judgment. I mean, if you're in a position where going that far left is gonna just make you fly off the screen, then, you know, don't do that, of course. But And here you can see, I kinda don't have the heart to do it to him. He's, he's so, he's such a nice guy. But, uh, yeah, I, I probably could have dropped some boxes. But there, I mean, you know. All right. I, I, I'm a dick. What can I do? <laughs> I, I had to. It was, it was just so good. That's kind of a bad uh, meatball by him. Because when you're going really fast and you throw those things, I mean, you're going to hit yourself with it, like, so often that you, you should really be aware of that. And uh, I believe this is going to be the last one of the video. He kind of misses that. Um, I don't think he knew about it because he does it this time. It's always good when somebody copies your moves. Makes you feel good. Um, I believe this one's a really quick match. Um, I, I, I wish the guy would use a little more items so this way I wouldn't have to feel so bad. Like at this point he could item spam me and I, well, you know, I, I don't think that's a bad strategy anyway. I mean, I don't have a problem with that strategy. Uh, anyway. So, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, that was really quick, and yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to check out the Speedrunners playlist, and uh, maybe consider subscribing and checking out some other stuff on my channel. I've got more than just Speedrunners. This has been Admin Dean. Again, thanks for watching. Can't say it enough. And have a good one.